So let's take a trip down memory lane. I'm pretty sure a lot of you elderly gentlemen, maybe gentlemen women, uh, remember IRC. Now IRC uh, is a place where I uh, grew up, where I spent a lot of my teenage years. It stands for Internet Relay Chat. I can describe it like Discord, but without the voice chat. And um, this is pretty much where a lot of people used to communicate back in the days. There were other chat rooms, of course, on different websites, but this was like the main one. Uh, so you had like people that would go there in order to find the significant other, uh, people who went there to cyber sex, uh, people who went there in order to talk about politics, people who went there to talk about video games, and people who went there to navigate the, the high seas of piracy. Basically like everything that you could imagine you would find on IRC. And surprisingly, well, I don't know if it's surprisingly or not, but it's still something that's active. now. It's important to point out there is no moderation on IRC, right? Like there's no um, overarching, you know, like Discord uh, admins that tell you that you can't say the word retard or anything like that. No, back in the day, if you did something illegal, people would report you to the cops. Uh, and if, uh, for example, <clears throat> you are being an asshole and you're being obnoxious to other people, what will happen is that uh, eventually people will start muting you. They will start blocking you, banning you from their channels, so on and so forth. And you would realize that you just ostracized yourself. There's no one else to talk with because you were, you're being an asshole. So you had to change your behavior. You had to change um, how you are as a person in order to be able to uh, you know, reintegrate yourself in the community. So let's uh, uh, give it a go now. This is M, Y, or C, right? It's the client that I'm using. Um, let's click here, continue. So the first thing you want to do is you want to connect to a server. But before that, you need the nickname. Um, the alternative is that if there is someone that's already online with the same nickname on your, the server as you are, um, you're going to have the alternative name. If not, it's basically like they're going to prompt you to choose something else. So. Okay, uh, email and, uh, and name is optional. The email was good because uh, it was a way for people to recognize you if you chose a different nickname. <coughs> and uh, anyway, uh, then you click connect. And you connect to a random server, but um, before I do that, let me see if uh, I can find actually a list of different servers. Yeah, so there are uh, certain servers that you can connect to. Uh, Quake, Nate, Argzone, you, you see there's a lot of them. Uh, the one that Romania used was called Undernet, but I think it's dead now, I, I couldn't find it. Uh, Dalnet was another one that I used. Um, I think uh, even the furries had their own server, like Furnet or something. And you can create your own server, uh, as I understand it, but it's going to be like on your PC, so if you, if you decide to like... Uh, Re, um, restart your computer or something like that. The server goes down. So let's uh, I don't know dark mist. I, I have no idea what this is, right? But let's uh, let's try connecting to it. So you click the the arrow here. Ah, I'm connected still on QuakeNet. Uh, I must have screwed up something. Uh, let's see. Where, where was it? Dark mist, right? Hmm. Random server on dark mist. Okay, come on. All right. So another way you could connect rather than clicking the, the icon here, back then you, there was a lot of typing involved, right? So a lot of people that would use IRC a lot, they would know, so it would be like server, um, IRC, let's say, uh, quakenet.org, right? So as you can see, now it connects to QuakeNet. But if I want to connect to uh, Darkmist and QuakeNet, so I want to be on two servers, you would do like server minus M. Server minus M, and you would uh, copy paste uh, the uh, one from Darkmist. What, what was the address for it? it was uh, this one. All right, so you copy paste this one, you put it here, and then you get like another server with a different window, right? So once you're on a server, you uh, you have the option of trying to find out the channels on the server. Um, I, I actually forgot how to do that, <laughs> but uh, let me let me see if I can figure it out. So you get 
Oh no, there was a button, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. There was the channel list. Here we go. So you get get list, and then uh, you get to see like the channels which are there, and every channel um, has the the number of people associated to it, and also uh, they they tell you like some description in some cases. Um, let's see what we got here. We got. Uh, Something something bigger so I don't get noticed. Sayang or, or the rock. Let, let's see what the rock is about, right? So once once you join the channel, you get the 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 topic of the day, which the admin can set it up, and then you get the the people in the channel when on the right side, and the, the ones that have an app. They're the admins. They're the moderators. They can change the the topic and they can also kick or ban people. Um, and um, the people that have a plus, uh, these are usually like the, the people that they don't have any power per se, uh, but they're shown that they're regulars of the channel. Like the admins usually give a plus to someone that they like, you know, regular or something. It, it, it's a way of showing that, yeah, this person has been here a while and we don't want him as a moderator, but we do want to, uh, you know, give him something. Um, and as you can see, you you can also uh, double click someone and then you message them, and that was like pretty much it. That's that's how people used to communicate back in the day. Now, if you wanna create your own channel, you do slash join. Um, the hashtag is is for the channel thing, and let's say you have like V layer or whatever, right? So if you're the first, if no such channel exists, when you join it, you create it, and once you create a channel, then um, you get admin, right? So you get like the channel modes. You can uh, make it so that everyone can set the topic if you want. Um, you can make it invite only, moderated, secret, or blah blah blah. Here you'll have like the list of names that people are banned, and here is where you can put the topic of the day. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now, what's what's really interesting about this thing is that, as I mentioned, you can't really join. Um, if you join a channel that doesn't exist, then you create it. So what's interesting is that if everyone would have left the channel and someone would have joined, like for example, now if I if I leave the channel and someone else joins V's layer, they become the moderator. So in order to avoid that, you you actually had to have a bot or someone that would have their computer open twenty four seven because you don't want to lose the channel. Yeah. <laughs> Um, another interesting thing is that uh, if you actually told people to join this 3-0, uh, what does is it makes you lose all the channels you're in. And this was incredibly infuriating. Like you could get people that would have grudges on you forever and ever if you did this. Because um, as I mentioned before, piracy was a big thing on, on IRC before uh, Kaza came and before other programs came. So what, what people would do is that uh, they, they would go into these channels that were for piracy and uh, you, you would have a bot and you, you would get a list of things from the bot and then let's say you wanted to pirate a movie or something. That could take days, right? Like you would have, uh, I don't know, 50 kilobytes a second uh, connection speed and it would that literally take days for you to download something. Um, I remember like what... A friend of mine, okay, not me, I just happened to know this, wanted to pirate Emperor Battle for Dune, and this was a game on four CDs, right? So he actually had to leave his computer on for two weeks in order to get like four CDs worth of download off the internet. Um, and imagine like while, while you're doing this, you have to stay on the channel because otherwise the bot just closes the connection and there was no resume, you had to start it all over. And imagine like someone leaves the computer open for five days, and then someone tells him to join free dash o and it's like he leaves all the channels and he has to restart all those five days from the beginning like those people would hate you so much so very very much um but yeah so th this was pretty much irc like this this was a thing back in the day uh apparently it still is now i don't use it anymore uh i just wanted to see you know like if i can find uh, any romanian channel any any of the people that i used to hang out with now they're, they're all gone um, but it, it was a very effective way of communicating. It was very advanced for the time because it was very fast. Like you, you get instant uh, notifications and stuff like that. And yeah, I would definitely compare it to Discord. Um, 
tell me what you think and uh, if you have any interesting stories that uh, you you've encountered on IRC please do let me know